In PowerDirector 19, it's pretty cool when you do a pop-out effect where you can actually use your laptop or you can use a piece of paper that's painted green, whatever you want, to where you can actually make it look like you're popping out of the screen. For example, if you want to learn about survival, then I suggest you take this book and learn. Okay, in order to achieve the pop-out effect in PowerDirector 19, and this will only work, with Power Director 19. So you will have to have Power Director 19 in order to do this pop-out effect. First thing you're going to do is get your laptop and get a green screen put on it. You can color the background green or you can download images off Google that are green. It's quite easy to do. Now once you have your laptop green screen like this, set your camera up on a tripod and point it at the laptop. Now I've done a little over I don't know, 26, 27 seconds. Record for about 30 seconds. Get 30 seconds of this set up, and you're not going to need any sound whatsoever because all we're trying to do is record the laptop with the green screen in the background. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it, and we're going to enter the um, PIP designer. On the left here, you see Chroma Key. We're going to go to Chroma Key section. We're going to hit the eyedropper, and we're going to hit our screen. You notice we got some edges here that aren't quite lined up. I'm going to move this over and move this over a little bit. So that gets it pretty close. And we're going to hit OK. So now that's set up. Our video of what we're going to do is I'll bring that back to here. And you'll notice now our video is in there. Now what I want to do is I want to clean it up a little bit so I'm going to go to the end take this and I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to take the back end off so now everything's lined up beautiful now if I actually play this I'm actually in this picture now but I'm kind of too big inside the screen so I'm going to double click on this and go into the pit designer. And you'll see how big I am there. And I'm going to shrink myself down a little bit. And you'll see there's my laptop. Now I do want a little bit of myself coming out. Now one thing I do suggest you do is turn the main, maintain aspect ratio off. So this way we can... Uh, mess with it a little bit easier and I kind of want the edges to be in there and I want a little bit of it you'll see coming down so maybe bring it down a little bit like that and you'll have to play with which you think is the right way of doing it so now I'm gonna say okay and I've got my image lined up. And you'll notice it comes just below where the icons are. So we're looking good there. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the end. And I want the part where that book is coming up like that. So I'm going to back it up a few. A little bit more. I guess maybe right about there. So then I'm going to cut the back end off. I'm going to go copy. So now I've got a copy of it. And I'm going to paste it over here on the end. Just by clicking on the timeline and hitting paste. I'm going to move this down to the bottom of the green screen now. See that? So now when I play it, you're going to notice that noticed how it popped out the bottom there is what had happened. So the bottom one is where we're going to edit. And here's why you need PowerDirector 19 with this. We're going to go in, I'm going to select the bottom one. I'm going to go into Mask Designer. So we're taking that one on the bottom is what we're going to edit. And you'll see what's going on here. And before we start editing, we're going to go up here and click this X. 
and then we're going to come down here and here's the reason why you need PowerDirector 19 because you need to create a custom mask and this is only in PowerDirector 19 so now we're going to select that now notice it kind of made it gray here and everything and that's kind of what we're working with so what we're going to do is we're going to draw our dots first around the image like so now I don't need to go all the way to the top I just need to get the bottom because that's what I'm going to be playing with and make sure you go to the last dot when you get the hand and that'll complete it so now it's all together so now we're off and running so basically I'm just going to hit the um, next frame and move it over one and notice it came up a bit and then we're going to grab this and we're going to get, bring it down just a hair that's all we're going to do you got to kind of think of it like cartoons when you used to have those flip books you know you do one section at a time and do little minute movements to make it look more realistic and you don't have to hit the um, the keyframe when you move it one frame and you go up here and you grab it it will automatically add the keyframe here to the bottom so mainly you're just playing with getting this perfect is what you're doing and you just keep going over and over and over to get this the way you want it and I'll speed it up a little bit move a couple more screens this will make it a bit choppy but so you're not sitting here for 20 minutes now the trick is when we're on the keyframe where it says feather radius we want to do like a I don't know five there is what we want to do and that's kind of going to make it look a little bit more realistic okay now you get the idea you basically just go across frame by frame adding these keyframes bringing this down and getting it to look like that hit okay and now what's it look like I suggest you take this book and see how it came out Enlarge. and now it basically popped out of the screen of your laptop But like I said, if you want to do this, you are going to need PowerDirector 19. Might be a good time to upgrade. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. A little bit more medium to advanced, but um, it's a kind of cool effect if you want to add them to your YouTube videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. In PowerDirector 19, it's pretty cool when you do a pop-out effect where you can actually use your laptop or you can use a piece of paper that's painted green, whatever you want, to where you can actually make it look like you're popping out of the screen. For example, if you want to learn about survival, then I suggest you take this book and learn.